Hi, I'm Kevin Kilbuck, Director of Strategic Marketing for Micron's NAND Product Group. I'd like to spend a couple minutes today talking to you about uh, exciting new technology we've just announced, which is our 3-bit per cell NAND flash memory. Um, I would like to talk about two main things. One is um, what the technology means and, and some of the trade-offs and the applications that, uh, that can use this new technology. And then the other is why it's becoming increasingly important to our, our NAND roadmap. Um, so first on the technology side, um, we've drawn up here some uh, diagrams. When, when a customer buys a NAND flash, they're buying a, a, a certain density like a 16 gigabit or a 32 gigabit NAND. But how we manufacture that depends really on the cell technology. Uh, and there's three primary technologies today, SLC, MLC, and 3-bit per cell. Uh, SLC is, stands for single level cell and it means uh, the, the, the flash cell is storing one of two states, a zero or a one logically. Uh, MLC, multi-level cell, means two bits per cell and one of four logic states and then three bit per cell is one of eight uh, logic states. So to be able to build these various densities that the consumer would buy, um, we have a, a physical NAND array. In this example, it's 16 gigabits. So if the physical array or the number of cells is 16 gigabits, um, and we're storing one bit per cell, the product, the, the end product is also 16 gigabits. If we're storing two bits per cell for MLC, the end product is 32 gigabits. And if we took that same 16 gigabit array, that same die, and we're able to store three bits per cell, uh, we would have a 48 gigabit product. We don't do a 48 gigabit product uh, because it's what we consider a non-binary density or in everyday terms, an oddball density. Um, so what we do is we actually take this array and chop it down somewhere around to somewhere around 10 gigabits. Then when we store three bits per cell, we actually get a 32 gigabit, uh, three bit per cell product. So what we've done is gotten to 32 gigabits with a smaller die. Um, that sounds great. Why don't we just do it for all of our products and have the smallest die size? Well, there's some trade-offs. Uh, as you're storing all these logic cells, it, it takes longer to, to read and to write which uh, translates to performance. Uh, it also impacts your endurance. You can't read or write as many times as you could with uh, SLC or MLC. So um, in terms of applications, 3-bit uh, per cell is very suitable for things like USB flash drives or flash cards where um, absolute cost and density are, are the most important thing um, and the performance and endurance are, are really good enough. But there are other applications like solid state drives um, that, that need a higher level of performance and endurance. So they would use an, M an SLC or an MLC technology. Uh, now let's talk about the implications on our, our NAND roadmap. Um, and what we've depicted here are, are the last several process nodes that, that Micron has had and our 34 nanometer, which is our state-of-the-art um, uh, process node today. Um, and it, it's important to note that when we start uh, manufacturing on a, on a new process node, we start with MLC. And that's because it's the high volume product. It goes into the most applications. Um, then later in the process node, we will introduce uh, what we call our derivative products, which are uh, SLC and, and 3-bit per cell. Um, and we need some level of process maturity to be able to do that. that that's why we wait. Um, so. Um, looking back at history, for example, if we would have had a 3-bit per cell on, on 50 nanometer, it would have come, you know, midway in the process, uh, in the life of the process, and then the 34 nanometer is right behind it. You're always going to get lower cost uh, going to the next process node, and you're not, you're going to do so without compromising performance or endurance. So it, it wouldn't make sense to have a 3-bit per cell um, process node on a, on a shrink path like this where you're able to introduce a new um, process node every year. Uh, however, um, uh, we do expect this cadence to slow down, uh, mainly because we're uh, approaching atomic dimensions in the cell, which means you're going to be literally be able to count how many atoms are in one memory cell on, on your fingers and toes someday. Um, so it gets harder and harder to, to just do a shrink every year. Um, so uh, when that happens, the, the 3-bit per cell is going to be a critical piece of our, of our NAND roadmap. Um, so thank you for your time today. I think you can see now that the 3-bit per cell technology is, uh, is becoming increasingly important to the NAND industry. Uh, it's exciting times in NAND and Micron continues to innovate. If you have any questions, please post them on our blog. Thank you.